Hello and welcome to part two of our Sally the Seahorse tutorial. In this video, we will be shaping the body, creating the fins and the head spikes and finishing off the eyes. So let's get into it. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our head down like this. This is kind of the shape that we're looking for. So what we're gonna do, first we're just gonna tie off the end. We just make a slip stitch into the next stitch here and then with our scissors I would cut a decent size length maybe 12 to 16 inches and pull through to create a knot so next what we're going to do is we're going to grab a, a scrap piece of yarn probably about 12 inches and we're going to just cut that and we're going to place it on our darning needle like that. Now we're going to take our head and what we want to do is we want to attach row 12 of the head to row 22 under the neck here. So what we're going to do is we're going to count down to row 12 of the head from the nose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm just going to place a fabric pin there. And then I'm going to keep counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So right here. And then when you bend them, they're going to meet up. And that's what we want. So to sew the head down, to the body what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn our scrap piece of yarn with our darning needle and we're going to insert on row 22 where we put our our marker we're just going to pull it so there's a little bit of a tail and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up into row 12 of the head and we're going to pull so you're going to have a big strand right here then we're going to go back down into row 22 and you can remove your needles now and we're going to go back up and then back down once more and I'm going to push the needle back through to where I started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this yarn Just need a little bit of coaxing and it's going to bring the head right down to where we want it. Now once you're happy with its placement you can tie off these two strands of yarn into just a knot is fine just to keep it in place and you want to make sure that they're in the same stitch. Just going to tie a knot Cut the ends and I just like to take a smaller crochet hook and weave in the ends. And there is your head down. So next we're going to sew up those holes we talked about before. Now I have one right here that I want to sew up because you can see the stuffing through it. So I just have a darning needle with a piece of yarn and I'm just going to sew this through. Just so that that hole is closed. And you can do this to basically any spot that you feel there's like a, a bit of a gap. I feel like there's maybe a little gapping here. And then I'm also going to just check out the other side. I don't really have as big of a hole, but there is a little one. So I'm just going to stick my darning needle over here. I'm just going to quickly close that hole up. And then I'll just put my 
hook back over to where I first inserted it and I'm just going to tie a knot and weave in the ends. So I just have my yarn ends here. I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to cut my ends. I'll take my smaller hook and then I'll just weave in those ends. Just like that. So that is where we're at right now. Next, we're gonna curve up the tail. So what we're gonna do is basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your yarn tail on the outside and we're just basically rolling it up like a little wrap. Now, I like to place mine kind of like all the way up into the belly but you could keep it lower if you'd like to doesn't it's really personal preference on this one where you want it to sit but once you have it in the place that you want it we're basically just going to take this yarn end and we're going to sew this piece together and then we're going to sew it directly onto our body So I'm just going to stick my needle through these two here. Just basically want to anchor these so you can kind of just go through them a few times before we even start to um, attach it to the body. I'm just going to do a couple anchoring stitches. like that and like that and then once I'm happy with that I'm just going to attach it to the body okay so I'm basically inserting it into the body here and then I'm going to just insert it into the tail as well where it lines up and then it's just going to pull it tight like that. And then I'll just insert it back in and pull it back. And then I just want to make sure that it's how I want it like that. And then once it's in the position that I want, I usually will just make a little knot right beside the tail. So I'll just do a little knot here just to kind of keep it in place. And then I'll just push my hook through. Cut my yarn. And then just weave in my end here. there is our seahorse. Okay, so now we have our body complete. We have the head, the body, and the tail all done. The next step is to move on to the head spikes. So to do that, we're going to take our color B yarn, whatever that is that you decided to use for your project. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. And for row one, we're going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is what we're going to have after we chain 25. Now, for the next step for row 2, what we're going to do is we're going to skip these first three chains. So we're going to skip this chain, skip this one, and this one. And we're going to be working into this fourth chain from the hook. So skip, skip, skip. We're going to insert our hook. And we're going to make a single crochet in this stitch. Like so. Now we're going to complete a picket stitch or a pico stitch, however you like to say it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to insert our hook into these front two loops right here, like so. And we're going to complete a slip stitch. And then in the next chain, so this will be the fifth chain, we're going to place a single crochet. And that is one pico stitch. Now we're going to do two single crochets. One, two, and we're going to complete another pico stitch. One, two, three chains. We're going to work into these front two loops. And we're going to make a slip stitch. Single crochet into the next chain. And that's our second pico done. Now we're just going to continue that. So single crochet two. One two. So technically we're having three single crochets between each pico stitch. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to work into those front two loops. A slip stitch. Single crochet to complete two single crochets, one, two, chain three, and then we're going to work into those front two loops again, a slip stitch, single crochet to finish that off. So just continue that along until you reach the end and I will meet you at the other side. So this is what we're looking like. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pico stitches on our chain 25. And you should be ending with three single crochets at the end. All right, so now that we have completed the head spikes, we're gonna attach them to our body. Now I like to attach the head spike at the top between Anywhere between rows 13 and rows 15 and where you place yours is just going to be preference dependent. So when we count back, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we're basically going to place it anywhere from here to here, wherever you feel it looks best. And it's just going to basically go right on the top of the head like so, and then down the back, 
like that. Once you have the placement that you like, we're going to use fabric pins to pin this in place. Now you kind of want to make sure that it's centered right at the front of the head. And then you can just place pins down to keep it in, in the place that you'd like it to be. You're also going to tie off your end and just make sure you leave a decent amount of uh, yarn so that we can uh, sew on our spikes. So just make sure that it's kind of where you want it to be. Let me just move mine over ever so slightly so it's more centered. This is just going to kind of be a little bit of a trial and error until you get it in the right spot. All right, so once you have your yarn on your darning needle, we're just going to start to sew this on. As you go, just um, remove the pins. And I'm just basically making sure that I'm going under two stitches underneath. And then right on the line of where we're sewing, I just, I'm going up either one or two stitches, however many you want to do. When it's all sewn on, I'll meet back here for the fins. So once your Pico stitches and your head spike is sewn on, we're just going to um, cut our yarn ends here and we're just going to weave them in. Like that. And there is where we're at so far with our head spikes attached. All right, so for the next step, we are going to create the fins. Now we're going to need our color B yarn again. And we are going to start row one of the fins with a magic ring. And we're going to place eight single crochets within the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll close our ring. and place our stitch marker. Now for rows two through five, so two, three, four, and five, so four rows, we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. There's a total of eight stitches. So you're just gonna crochet one single crochet in each stitch for four rows, just like this.
So I will complete rows two through five off camera and when we're done, I will meet you back here for row six. Okay, so that is row two through five complete. Now for row six, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and I'm gonna just put my yarn tail in here just so it's out of my way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the little like fins on the top. So we're gonna pinch our work together at the top and make sure that your hook's on the edge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a stitch from the front row and from the back row and we're gonna place three double crochets in this stitch. So this stitch here and this back stitch. Sorry, I need to yarn over. Insert into this stitch and this back stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Two. And then into the same stitch, still. Another double crochet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip stitch back into this same stitch just to close that little fin off. Now we're gonna go into this next two stitches with three double crochets. One, two, three, and a slip stitch into that same stitch. And then we're gonna go into these last two over here with three double crochets. One, two, three, and a slip stitch. And that is what our little fin is looking like. Now we can cut our yarn. And just tie this off like that. And there is our first wing. Now we're gonna complete two of these, one for each side. So just complete one more of these and I will meet you back here to sew them on. Okay, so once we've created two fins, we are gonna attach them to the body. Now, I'm basically just gonna attach the center of the fin to the body. I'm not gonna attach the entire outside, um, but you can attach it however way works best for you. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my yarn tail that I'm gonna be using to sew on over to the center more, or just like to the side of the kind of base area. So like row one, two, three, like the top of row three is where I've put it. And I'm gonna do the same to the other, other side. Just so it's in the right spot for when I wanna sew it on. <laughs> now we want to attach this to row 32, 33, and 34 of our body. And we're just going to angle it slightly upwards, just like this. Um, again, how you place this really is personal preference. This is just how I like to place mine. So um, I just like to angle mine up slightly so that the little ruffles on the top are facing kind of up. And then once you have it in the correct spot, if you want to, you can pin it down first and just make sure it's exactly how you want it in the right spot. And then once it's in the right spot, you're just going to sew it on. And so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 
insert my hook or insert my needle down here. And then I'm just going to insert it back in here and take my pins out. Like that. And then I may just attach this bottom of it as well to it just to make sure it's extra secure like that and then once I'm happy with the placement of that I'm just going to tie this off with a knot and I'm just gonna push my yarn tail back to the back here and I'll meet my other one there as well and so that is one fin sewn on. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So just sew your second fin on and then we'll meet to do the eye, de eye detail. All right, so once you have everything placed where you want it, we're just going to tie these yarn ends together on the back just to extra secure them in a knot and then we'll just cut our yarn and then I just usually take a smaller hook and weave in my ends and there are your fins attached now the very last thing that we have to do is add the eye detail now if you did add safety eyes in the beginning when we were doing the head then just disregard this part um, but if you're doing embroidery, embroidered eyes like I am um, we're going to place those right now so what we're going to do first is we're going to place our first insert into rows 10 so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and we're going to put it in the top of row 10 let me double check one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten to the top of row ten. Like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our hook one stitch down and one over. And then we're going to push our hook, or our needle, sorry, one stitch, one row over and one stitch up the same way. Just like that. And then we're going to insert our needle, our darning needle right back into that spot and back out where we came. You can tighten the ends so that they're how you like them. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. So you can just push your um, needle through to the other side. We're going to do row 10 again, like so. I just like to make sure one, two, three, four, I think four stitches on the top between the eyes is a good amount. One row over and one row, one stitch down. Insert your hook and then one row over and one stitch up. And then back into that same stitch and back over to where we first inserted our needle underneath the eyes, the face there. And then just adjust these eyes based on how you want them to look before we tighten them. And then once you're happy with the placement, you can uh, just make a knot, a light knot. Don't pull too hard or you'll pull the strand really tight. Cut your yarn. 
and then just weave in your ends like that. And then you can just adjust the eyes if they did get pulled at all. Um, you can just stick your darning needle right under them just to bring them out so that they're more visible. And there is your completed Sally the Seahorse. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Let us know in the comments down below if there's any other animals or tutorials you're looking to see. Please like this video if it was helpful for you and subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, we hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!